Hey guys, welcome back to Farm Expert 2016 with me, Brad M73. Um, let's see, we're, I guess, I don't know if I'm picking up from where I left off. I guess I am because I, we've got the new wider, hello, we've got the new wider cedar and it looks like it's in the evening. So we're going to jump in and we're going to try to seed and I am going to zoom out my view here and we're going to seed this field. And then I, oh, I, the other thing I need to do is I think I need to uh, cultivate. Uh, let's see, I need to cultivate this field. Yeah. And then I also need to cultivate the little small field up here. Um, <clears throat> I had a chance to actually do some uh, of the, it's not forestry, but I guess, it, what do they call it, aboriculture or something like that? Um, uh, where is it? Yeah, aboriculture. Um, I did this off screen over the weekend. I was just kind of wanting to play around with the game and learn a little bit more about it but I bought a bunch of apple seeds and I bought some um, uh, tree farming equipment or not really tree farming but um, what is that? R and alright I think I can go what? Refill oh gosh I don't even have my cedar filled yet okay um, let's see where do I have to go to fill my cedar oh I think I was here home storage unit bam uh, fill cedar. Let's do wraps. All right. So we got that filled. Um, so yeah, I planted some trees uh, in one of my test profiles, and uh, that was really about it. It took me. It took a long time because I was starting off a completely new profile, um, and it's the uh, it, there's the Alps map, the Midlands map, and then. You know, this, there's like a, this tree map, I guess. And it's it takes a lot to get really set up to do the trees because you have to you have to go like really far to get the, the right equipment and the right seeds. You have to buy a lot more seeds than I thought. But, uh, but I was able to do it. And it actually was kind of cool. Um, I was rather impressed with uh, with how it worked out so anyway um i got some feedback from you guys on my first and i think second have i done two videos on this yeah i did um i did one video where i was just kind of doing a general overview of the game and then i i did my first farming video where i think all i pretty much did was plow and cultivate this field and um i got some kind of mixed reviews or some mixed reactions i guess from you guys some of you guys like it um, some of you guys didn't really seem to like it, and I mean, I understand why. Um, the graphics of the the machinery is not really that great, um, and the graphics of the the actual gameplay. I, honestly, I think the field just looks awesome. I mean, the field it just looks really good to me, in my opinion. And if you disagree with me, I, you know, I'm not going to hold it against you. Um, you know, I value other people's opinions. Is it perfect? No, but I mean, the, I mean, look at the shadow of the of the tractor. I think the shadow looks really good. It's, is it perfect? No, but it's way better than the shadows in Farming Sim. Um, the light source in the uh, in this game is much better. We actually have realistic shadows. I mean, look at how the sun, you know, the shadow, the light source, the positional shadow. I'm just going to stop here in the field. Um, the positional shadows to where the, the light source is, is exactly the way it would be, whoops, in real life. And I think that that's something that Farming Simulator has never gotten right. Do they have shadows? Yes. But go out one day on your farm it may be two or three o'clock in the afternoon or five o'clock in the afternoon and try to find the sun as a matter of fact 
if it's not like morning or evening, go try to find the sun. And then even then, align the the shadows, the, you know, the shadow points with the location of where you think the sun is, if you can kind of tell. Because most of the time, even, even if it's like a blue sky or a partly cloudy sky, you won't really see the sun. Oh man, the shadows just disappeared over there. I was hoping they would stretch all the way out over. Um, actually, wait a second. I want to do something. So we have this shadow right here on the ground. So if we stand over here, uh, well, actually, I can't really do that. But if I stand right here and I turn around, I mean, oh, well, I guess my guy doesn't have a shadow, does he? Oops. But I mean, if we draw a line from like the top, you know, where the two lights are over here, I mean, if we imagine a line, and I can't, I don't have a cursor in this game, but if we imagine a line going from the sun over the top of that tractor to where the shadow lands, it's pretty much a straight line up through there. And Farming Sim doesn't do that, and I'm a real stickler when it comes to realistic lighting. Um, I think that, you know, when you have... Oh my god. When you have a game that has realistic lighting, it really adds a lot of depth to it. Um, that said, the lighting is still not in any way, shape, or form perfect. Whoops. So, don't... Hello. Oh. All right, let's let's continue farming here. Yeah, so I mean, it's not perfect, but trust me, it's way better than farming sim. Way better. Way, 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 way better. So we have sixty-five thousand dollars left. Um, I think I might even buy another field. I don't know if I can find a decent-sized one for not too much. Maybe. 20,000 or something like that. Oh, look. Let's let's get this uh, the rest of this field done before we get into doing that. Up oh, and then the shadows appear again. So, I mean, I'm not saying that the this game engine is perfect. Trust me, the buildings look pretty horrible and um, I I might end up disabling the bloom effect if uh, if I hit escape, go to game option. Oh, no video options there is a blurs and blooms um, I don't think oh no it does dis it does disable it on the fly um, you know, if we look at the top of the uh, if you look at the top of the uh, smoke or the exhaust thing I'm gonna use that as a pointer look look at the top of the silos over there and you'll kind of see the the bloom effect that I'm referring to um, and then let's go ahead and re-enable that because that's that's pretty cool because earlier now see how see how that area is kind of blurry now um, that's kind of like a light blooming effect which it kind of works but then it kind of doesn't I I don't really know ex exactly how I can explain it um, I think in general it works okay for this game it's not perfect but it, it's okay. I still am not really liking the uh, the haze off in the distance. I think that they could tone that down about 50%, and that would probably look a lot more realistic. Um, but, you know, these are just my suggestions. <laughs> they didn't listen to me before. What, uh, what makes you think they're going to start now? Absolutely nothing. Okay. I think I'm going to have to kind of go down this field one more time. One more time. Uh, or, I don't know, maybe not. No, I think it's alright. Let's, let's see what it says here. It says... Fields... Sown 100%. All right, so we still have to do the fertilization, and let's see what uh, we've got. These two fields down here. Let's let's run up there. See, whoops. Let's 
want to see uh, what we've got going on over here. I think it's just going to say, yeah, press enter to buy this field. Oh gosh, it's dirt cheap. Let's buy this field. This one will probably be cheaper. Whoops, no. Buy this field. Oh, wait, wasn't that one's more expensive? All right, let's just buy them. That's going to help our uh, our crops and everything anyway. So we'll just get, we'll just do that. Um. Well, if we're going to do that, we have to um, we have to get our plow again. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go. Wow, did I really use f half of my seed on this field? Wow. Um, let's see, farming. Oh, wait. We just want to fill seed with wraps. Um, but we're going to have to put this down because I want to get the, uh, the plow. We got, oops, we got the wider plow, we got the wider cultivator. Whoops, come on, back up. Here we go. Okay, whoa. And let's see, what, what else was I wanting to do? Oh, I need to make sure that I have a, a silo for, for wraps. A rape, which is canola. Uh, where? Oh, there we are. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me what my frame rate's like. I'm getting about 35 frames a second. Sometimes it drops down below that. Sometimes it's more than that. Uh, but I would say on average it's between 30 and 40 frames a second now, which is really weird because... Um, before they did the, the last patch, uh, last week, which was the last week in June, I was getting like 70, 80, 90 frames a second. Um, so yeah, I don't know why they did it that way. All right. So we need some reps. Okay. So we'll leave that there. And as you can see, we have wheat, a wheat silo and now we will have a reps silo there. Okay. Hello. Oh, I think I also had some of you guys ask me, like, buy buy some animals. And I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Uh, can I... There we go. Miscellaneous. We own three cows, five ducks, five hens, two horses, uh, ten goats, and a sheep. Five sheep. So, I did buy some animals there. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys saw that um, in case you thought I didn't buy any for whatever reason. Um, how are we doing back on the field there? Okay. Okay, so we're going to uh, hire a worker to plow one of the fields. Uh, oh, great. Why? Why does? Why can't you just hire a worker from anywhere? I'm shaking my head in disappointment. It's just so stupid to limit hiring workers from the main farm. We have cell phones these days, guys. Um, you can call your worker buddy up and be like, hey, Hey Billy Bob, I need you out on the farm today. Do some, do some plowing. All right, so I leveled up my warden skills. Hopefully that uh, is a good thing. I'm loving the realistic plowing in this game, guys. 
Uh, I know some of you guys have, are, you know, are kind of like mixed. Some people seem to not like the realistic plowing. However, I like it a lot. I think it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, oh, there we go. You are destroying crops that grow here. Mow the field before plowing and cultivating. What the heck? What's plowed here? Oh, corn is planted here. Well, too bad. Because... I don't want to plant corn. I want to plant wraps. Because we're going to need the uh you know, we're gonna need the the money from planting wraps to uh help us afford uh you know like a corn header i don't know i'm not opposed to corn but i just don't want to plant corn so we're gonna we're gonna go over the corn uh, it looks like it's getting dark out so we'll turn our lights on which is pretty nice you guys will get a chance to see what uh, some night farming is like here and see my driving skills has increased yet again okay you are destroying crops I know I'm so sorry crops But it is for the better. If I, well, I don't know what the other field has on it. Maybe I shouldn't destroy that. I guess I'll have to remember that for next time. That uh, there can actually be crops on the field when we start off. Okay, my plow skill increased yet again. Okay. All right. Now you'd never, ever, ever, ever want to destroy crops in the real world. Or I don't know, maybe there's a <laughs> maybe there might be a situation where you would. But once you plant, the seeds are gonna come out anyway, so uh. now I, I actually have heard of farmers um I can't remember what they call it, if it's like double row planting or something like that, where they'll plant one crop that grows at a different rate than another crop, but they'll plant it like a half a row off. And um I guess, you know, this helps kind of like essentially double the capacity of the field, but I don't really know too much more about it than that. I've just heard people mention it in the past. <sighs> that guy does not look like he's plowing all that quickly. He's got a pretty good plow, though. Looks like it's like a seven or eight row. Mine's only a six row. I would not have chosen him to pl to plow in that direction. Whoops. Okay. I s yeah. They, they still need to now. On the Steam forums, the uh, there's a guy who, is, you know, says he's one of the developers. Who I, you know, he's probably just like the forum management guy. I don't really know, but um, you know, he was basically saying, you know, he's taken a lot of notes. I actually have a thread there where uh, you know I talk about, you know, everybody post your your bugs there, and 
there's a lot of bugs, you know, no doubt about it. But I'm hoping that, uh, you know, the notes are actually getting passed on to the developer, to the developers, and uh, that they take it seriously. You know, I don't know if they will, but uh, here's keeping my fingers crossed and being hopeful. Of course, I kept my fingers crossed with Professional Farmer, and that never happened. So, I'm I am skeptical, which is which is one of the reasons why I can't wholeheartedly recommend this game, you know, unabashedly to everybody. But you know, if you guys, if you if you have the extra money, you don't mind spending it. Um, you know, if you don't mind lighting twenty dollars on fire and then flushing it down the toilet, <clears throat> if that is your final opinion of the game, and you and you seriously want to give it a try, then give it a try. It's not that bad. Um, and, there, and like I said, there's a lot of really good things about this game. And I'm not even being paid to say that. <laughs> okay. Come on. Okay, there we are. Do, 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 do. This is this you know is a bit mind numbing, but once we get uh, once we get all these fields planted and everything, I, it's, I think it's going to go a lot more a lot faster, at least I hope. Oh, there we go. All right. So yeah, I think these first few episodes, it's you know, it's going to be a lot of plowing, a lot of cultivating, a lot of boring stuff. Um, you know, along with the planting and everything. I wish it wasn't boring stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Man, I've gotten like almost this whole field done. I've only got a few things up and down, and this guy is really taking his good old time. Um, let's take a look at our skills here. So, current level 5, Warden, increase via ordering task, decreases ordering cost. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're up to level 22 driving, level 15 plowing. Gain while plowing and cultivating e increases soil aeration. All right. So I guess soil aeration is a good thing. Um, some people were asking me about, you know, soil pHs and things like that. And uh, I, I don't really know that soil pH is important, but I know in farming simulator, I'm sorry, professional farmer 2014, if you kept planting the same crops on the field over and over again, um, it would actually, well, for example, every subsequent year, your yield would get lower because the soil changes. Now, I'm sure in the real world that does have a lot to do with pH, um, I think a lot of the peop many people who are going to play this game, especially kids, they have like absolutely no understanding of pH. So I don't really know that that's what they're calling it in the game. I mean, heck, a lot of kids are, are not going to know what soil aeration is either. I mean, if you really think about it. But, um, yeah, who knows. Um... So I think I'm going to be putting these videos out, you know, Farm Expert Friday. I think I'm going to I'm going to kind of make these, uh, you know, for Fridays. So you'll have, you know, this game. You'll have uh, Farming Sim the next day. Um, I think I'm going to do kind of like a Mechanic Monday, 
maybe. And uh, then I, I'll, you know, I can do farm mechanic or truck mechanic or car mechanic. Um, you know, on those days, or at least until I wear those titles out. And uh, and then we're just going to have farming sim on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and construction sim, uh, either construction simulator 2015 or construction machines 2016 on on Sundays. Uh, I'm going to have my Millennium Falcon builds on Tuesdays because I think um, that that essentially the way that my packages are going to be coming, uh, they're usually going to be arriving like on Mondays or Tuesdays. Uh, so I'll just have to wait and see, you know, how that turns out. But um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Whoop. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. You get back in there. Okay, T to rotate. Uh oh. I was afraid I would get stuck on that tree. Alright, let's pull up. There we are. I guess my bigger. <clears throat> My bigger question is, can I actually help this guy plow? And I think we tried that last episode, and I've forgotten already. So, I'm going to try really quick. We'll see what happens. Once I'm done with my field. Man, these guys are slow potatoes. Is that a thing, slow potatoes? I just made that up. I just pulled that out of my hat, so... <clears throat> I don't know. Okay. Okay, so let's look. Okay, area plowed 100%. Wait, what is this area plowed? See, this one says it's plowed 100% too. I don't really know what's going on. No, it's only plowed about 22% because it said that there was only about 18% of corn there or something like that. So let's... um. I'm just going to see what happens when I do when I do this. Skilled plow. Okay. Well, it looks like it's working. I was hoping that as my warden skill increased, it also increased the speed that uh, you know the hired workers would would be, but. Uh, I wonder what happen I wonder what'll happen if he tries to hit me. I think he goes right through me. Goes oh no, he actually does hit. Okay, well. <laughs> Come on, Billy Bob, leave my tractor alone. Let's help each other out. <laughs> I 
I wasn't expecting that. All right, let's. Oh, look at that! Look at the, look at the. Ah, just let me stop and let's just look at the dirt. I think it looks pretty darn cool myself. Okay. Driver. My skill, my driving skill is increasing. All right, you're destroying crops. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. So what I <clears throat> what I want to see is is he going to be smart enough to stop plowing right there or is he going to go all the way to the end of the field Yeah, he's going he's going all the way to the end. So me doing this isn't really going to help that much. You know what? I bet the programming in this game has it so that the uh, the workers only cultivate like what is this? Probably north to south or east to west. Let's see. Fields. Yeah. So he's going east west. These guys are going east west. So I, I bet I bet you on all these fields they're always going to go east west. I just have a feeling that that's the way this game works. It would be nice to be able to tell them, like, hey, go north-south or, you know, go the, the lengthwise of the field. Then you're going to spend a lot less time turning around. I mean, that's just the way a normal farmer would farm, I would think. Unless you had very specific reasons for going, uh, uh, you know, east-west. And maybe there is. Maybe it has to do with sunlight or something like that. I don't know. Oh, come on. Phew, I got out of there just in time. So I will almost bet you <clears throat> that I can't, well no, I'm pretty sure I can't like have a guy cultivate the field right after the other guy's plowing it. I don't think it's going to work that way. Yeah, he's just plowing the whole field. That's a shame. I'm, I'm, that disappoints me. Come on, go. See, now I'm getting like 60 frames a second right here. Now, now I'm down to 44. See, there's just no consistency in frame frame rate. Now I'm at 29, 35. You know, look up like this. I'm at 38 frames a second. It's just really weird. And it happened after the last patch. A lot of people com are complaining that it happened after the last patch. See, now I'm up to 49 FPS. Whoops. So I guess if a field runs north to south, I definitely want to plow that myself and, c and cultivate and all that stuff. 
And then the east-west fields, I can have workers do that. Seeding is not that big of an issue because the cedar is so wide anyway that it just goes really fast. Now, he doesn't have a shadow. That's kind of interesting. You know, like a shadow in my headlights. I was hoping that uh, that he would, but he does not. Increased driver skill. We should, oh yeah, 25%. So it seems like the skills increase pretty, you know, fairly quickly. Not super duper quick, but... It's not too bad, I don't guess. Oh, come on. Go down. Hurry up. <laughs> All right. Hey, all the windmills are working. Oh, no, there's one that's not. Yes, I know, I'm destroying. Mow the field before plowing and cultivating it. Mow the field. How am I going to mow the field? There's no nothing to mow. Mow the field. Oh. I'm, I'm assuming that they mean harvest the field, maybe? I don't know. Weird. I was going to go down the other side, and then I just decided, no. <laughs> it's not even worth it now. See, I can just go like this, maybe. I don't know what we're going to see here. Yeah, I think I think we can do it like this. I don't know if that's going to speed things up too much, but uh, hopefully it will. Yeah, so next week I'm hoping I'm I, I'm hoping to get the uh, I guess issues one through eight for my Millennium Falcon build in. Um, if you guys don't know what that's all about, I'm actually building a one-to-one -one scale studio replica um, of the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, and the build's actually going to take place over the course of about the next two years. Uh, actually, two years from right about now, I should have it pretty much done. And so, uh, I'm going to be, you know, I've already started on it. Uh, I've got the first four issues up now. I'm doing a video series on it. Um, 
So hopefully you guys want you know like to watch it. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I <clears throat> I remember when I was a kid, I didn't really like the Millennium Falcon all that much because it's kind of an ugly bird in a way. But it's like one of those things that grows on you, and I think the older you get, and the more engrossed you are with kind of like the lore of you know Star Wars. Um, it becomes really super cool, and now I really like it, um, and I have for many years. And um, I know a long, uh, it's probably back in the mid 2000s. I think it was like 2006 or 2007. Master Replicas released a uh, limited edition uh, one-to-one studio scale replica of the Falcon, and it I can't remember what the price on it was, but it was like probably like. Two thousand five hundred bucks or something like that. It was not cheap, not at all. And so I was like, "Yep, I'm not getting that." <laughs> but I think this one, um, it's being done in a way so that uh, they give you small tasks to do over the course of a month. And some of the tasks, though, are really, really menial. So, like for for example. Like, I'll have to do, you know, one thing in a week. And literally, it's it could be something that might take five minutes to do. It might take 10 or 15 minutes to do. Um, aside from some of the painting that, you know, might you might want to do on the interior um, of, like, the cargo hold, which, you know, it doesn't really come with a whole lot of detail built in. But um, aside from that, there's really not a whole lot to you know that we need to do that we need to paint. Um, so like right now, it's kind of like okay, I get it done, I do my task for the week, and then I have to sit around for like another week when I really want to work on it. Um, so I guess it's kind of one of the good things and one of the bad things about doing like a subscription base uh, thing like this. Let's see, let's. Ooh, I wonder how much that field cost. See, that's got wheat in it. That one's got wheat in it. Let's go up here. And we're going to have to see. I'm going to be in deep doo-doo, though, if I run out of money. So we have 34000 If that big field's, I'd say, less than... Uh, how do I put a... How do I, excuse me, put money on that? If it's less than twenty-five thousand, I'll buy it. How's that? That way we'll have ten thousand left over, which I hope will be enough to get us through. Okay, it looks like the cultivating's done over here. It better be done. These fields are tiny. The only downside of these fields is they're pretty big right now, and let's see. Yeah, I can't buy this field. I'm sure that the other one's equally as expensive. So okay, not gonna not gonna move forward with that for right now. We'll concentrate on getting the fields that we have up and going. I think. Oh look, there's our goats over there. Okay, now let's see here. I have to Oh, did I buy the garage? I need I really need to buy a garage. Buildings. Vehicle home garage. <gasps> oh no! We can't build one. We don't have enough money. Okay. Well, I guess it's going to have to wait until next season. So if our vehicles break down, we're pretty much screwed. Uh. Come on. Go. Go back. Go back. All right, so I'll have to do the cultivating next. OK. 
Okay. All right. Um, I can fold this, can I? Yep. All right, so off we go to cultivate. <clears throat> I think cultivating will go a bit faster because the cultivator is a lot wider. And we're still going to have to wait for that bum of a guy to, <laughs> to get done plowing. Oh, man. Now, if you guys have watched my previous videos for Professional Farmer, um, you're going to realize that this game, as far as earning money, is not like Farming Simulator at all. It is a lot more work. Um, and it's, for me, I think it means that it's, that it's more of a challenge. Uh, which I which I actually appreciate. I like that. Um, I don't like games that are like super easy. And of course, this game doesn't really have a difficulty level. You know, it's just it is what it is, and you you have to deal with it. So, in in my opinion, that's good because you know it's not going to sugarcoat anything. And and I think one of the problems with Farming Simulator is you know for one, Farming Simulator should just be on hard mode all the time. It, just all the time. If you're playing Farming Simulator 15 or 13 or whatever on easy mode, you're basically just cheating yourself out of a good time. Um, you're cheating yourself out of the longevity of the game because I guarantee playing in uh, easy mode, you're going to be finished with, you know, you're going to you can easily get about a million dollars in an hour on easy mode or um, uh, maybe two hours. Um, it's it's that easy because with great demand, there's always great demands. There's always um, when your crop, you know, you get a lot more crops when you grow things. I mean, it's just it's crazy. So I don't really like that. Um, you know, that's just my opinion, I guess. But with this game, you know, it's it's just, I, for me, it takes a much more realistic approach to farming. I think. That's kind of one of the things I appreciate about this game over Farming Simulator. That looks kind of nice with the lights there. Well, that guy's... Oh, I want to do something. Let's... Um... Let's see, I think it's mechanics. Wait for the next morning. So we're going to wait for the next morning. Your cows brought in 60 euros. Goat's milk brought you 400 euros. Wow. And eggs brought us 25 euros. Wow, that's pretty darn good. Come on. Okay, so I'm assuming that because we waited till the next... <gasps> no. Oh, wait, yeah. Because we waited to the next day, the field is finished uh, cultivating. Or, I'm sorry. Um, you know. Okay, let's do an experiment here. I'm going to hit my map. We're going to hire some workers. I'm going to hire cultivators all around. Okay, let's go, let's see, workers, uh, oh gosh, gotta go back to the home area again, alright, let's go, I'm gonna go back there really quick, just to hire the workers, Okay. Let's uh 
Let's drive down here really fast. It's foggy out. Okay. Workers. All right. So we're going to say cultivate that field. And then, let's see, workers. Cult whoops. No, cultivate over here. Oh, those two fields are already cultivated. So I, all I need to do is so. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cultivating my field. I'm going to wait till the next day because I'm pretty sure that this guy's not going to be able to cultivate his field as fast as I can cult cultivate mine. Well, plus I'm already like half, almost halfway done. Um, but yeah, he's still going east-west. Let's see here. The switch gearbox setting... I don't know what that's doing. Doesn't appear to be doing anything. Oh, are you kidding me? Why is he plowing? Didn't I say... Did I click on... Oh my god. Okay. Let's... Ooh, it like speeds up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh good, my feet. okay. So, I don't know what happened over there. We're going to have to go back in. We're going to have to hire a worker. Gosh darn it. See, I think this, this game kind of has the same problem that uh, Professional Farmer does because you, you used to have to be very, very, very careful on where your mouse clicked. Otherwise, it would actually choose a different setting. And I think that might have been what happened. I'm not positive, but I'm thinking that that might be what, uh, what the cause of that was. So we're going to head back down. We're going to try to hire a worker to harvest, or I'm sorry, cultivate. And then I'm probably going to be the end of the episode. We'll have to come back next week and actually do all the rest of the planting and the acceleration of the time. Okay. So go back to workers. We're going to say cultivate. And there we go. Cultivate that field right there. Skill Warden is increased. Okay. Yeah, now it looks like he's got a cultivator. Oh, it's raining. Cool. Yeah, he's definitely cultivating. Oh, does he have... Wait, does he have the same cultivator that I do? Or does he have, like, a little dinky one? Kind of looks like he's got the little tiny dinky one. Okay, now once we get done cultivating, if you look at the mini map down at the bottom left, the field that I'm working on, um, the, the, the left hand side is kind of like a darker brown than the right handed side. Or I don't know, maybe it's like a greenish brown. I, depending on what your eyesight is like or your mo your monitor colors look like, um, 
but it's a slightly different shade of brown on the left than it is on the right. Now the part on the right is obviously what I've cultivated and that's actually what we're going to be looking for um, once I skip forward to the next day because then we're, you know, I'm going to have to do my harvesting. Okay. Hello. Whoop. Let's see, I want to go in the cabin here. All right, let's try this. It's kind of hard to tell where the cultivator needs to be in relation to the tractor. I think it's right about here. And I, I kind of want to make sure that the track is kind of like on my left front tire. Appears to be all right. So, okay, so we can see that the, on our mini map there, the field over to the right where he's cultivating, he is actually cultivating now. So that's what we want to see. I think two more passes, maybe up and down this field is gonna be all we're gonna to need to do. Maybe even one. Yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of cultivating we're gonna to need to do on this field. Just we'll just go down it really quick. Then I can fast forward to the next day and uh, we can kind of go from there. Alright, so we got thirty-five thousand four hundred and eleven dollars or euros actually. So my plowman skill. Okay, so 30 and then 24%. Boy, my sewing skill is not going up very fast. I wonder if it go, would go up faster with the smaller cedar since I'd have to cover more area. Hmm. Uh oh. How am I destroying crops that are growing here? I've already <laughs> I've already destroyed them all. Oh, maybe because I didn't uh, go all the way down and cultivate this or plow this final little bit. That's the only thing I can guess. And I can't zoom in on that mini map. I wish that I could, because that would essentially give us a lot more information about the field. Okay, so when we get done here, what I'm going to do, okay, alright, so what, okay, so he's still working, we're going to go to mechanics, and we're going to wait for the next morning, and BAMO, it looks like it's cultivated instantly, again, we get uh, almost 500 more year. Well, 200 or 485 euros. Uh, let's see, field, fields. Yeah, so that's been cultivated 100%. So all we have to do is plant those four fields, and uh, we'll pretty much be done. And how am I doing time-wise? Uh, hello. Oh gosh, I can't tell. Oh gosh, what's happening? What's happening? Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. No, my game's still there. What's going on here? Okay, there we go. Oh. I need multiple monitors. Anybody want to donate an extra ROG Swift monitor to me? <laughs> actually, when the new ROG Swifts come out, I actually want to get one of those. Um, the, the new ones with the IPS panels. They're, I don't think they're out yet, but... Um, when they do come out. I really want one. Now, raise that up. All the other fields are cultivated. All we need to do is begin seeding. So we just seeded the one field. Um, I wasn't really expecting, I wasn't really gonna buy those extra fields, but then I thought, why not? Um, so yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh good. I was kind of worried that I was going to, uh, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Go. 
lower. There we go. And disconnect. Yeah, I couldn't tell how much time I've been doing this. I feel like it's been several hours, and I didn't really check when I started recording, which I usually do. I don't know why I didn't this time. And this guy takes a long time to go into reverse. All right, so we will... Um, Let's see, our cedar's full. We got plenty of gas. Yeah, so we're going to come back in our in the next episode, and uh, we'll get all the seating done, and then we'll fast forward time. Maybe get started. I don't think the seating's going to take very long. Um, and we'll come back, and we will we'll do the feeding, the fertilizing, and uh, and then we'll fast forward time. Maybe maybe just get uh, the harvesting started. So. We will see you next time on Farm Expert 2016. As always, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for this and many more videos. I am Brad M73, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.